How's it going guys? This is Dr. Adrian Chavez here with personaltrainingprep.com and in this video what I want to talk to you about is cardiac output. Okay, so if you're taking the ACSM certified personal trainer exam or any personal trainer exam, one of the things you're going to need to know is cardiac output. You're going to need to know what goes into the equation. You're going to need to know an estimate of the um, average cardiac output of men and women and you're going to need, know, need to know how to calculate the equation. Okay, so I'm going to explain this really quickly in this video. Hopefully this helps you out if you're studying for the exam and you're hung up on this topic. Uh, so first of all, cardiac output. So what is cardiac output? That's the amount of blood your heart pumps in one minute. So over the course of a minute, your heart's going to pump a certain number of times and it's going to pump out a certain amount of blood. When you calculate that over the course of a minute, that's cardiac output. Um, as you may know, during exercise, cardiac output goes up dramatically. Um, due to the increase in the heart rate and the increase in the stroke volume as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and talk about the averages. So on average, a man has a cardiac output of about five liters per minute, and this is at rest. Like I said, this goes up significantly during exercise and it depends on the individual how much this is gonna go up by. Uh, it, the women are gonna have a slightly lower cardiac output and that's because their heart's a little bit smaller. So usually they have about the same heart rate but a lower stroke volume. Um, and so their output is gonna be about 4.6 liters per minute. Now when it comes to cardiac output, there's two things that go into the equation. I've already mentioned these a couple of times um, as I'm speaking about it, but it's gonna be heart rate and stroke volume. So the number of times your heart beats and the amount of blood your heart beats each pump. And you see this letter Q here, you might see cardiac output expressed as a Q. Uh, that's just a way, uh, a shortened way of, of using cardiac output. You might see an equation Q equals HR times SV. That's cardiac output equals heart rate times stroke volume, okay? So what you're gonna need to be able to do is identify a heart rate and a stroke volume and make that calculation to uh, calculate cardiac output without the equation. So if you see a question that says, Bob has a heart rate of, um, let's say 70 in his stroke volume is 71.6, what is his cardiac output, okay? And the way you do that is you just multiply the two together. So, um, and excuse me, in my example, Bob has a heart rate of 70 and his cardiac or his stroke volume for each pump, each contraction of his heart is 71.4. Um, so, when you multiply those two together, you'll get a calculator. So you'll do 70 times 71.4. That's going to be 5,000 milliliters. And if you know basic metric system math, 5,000 milliliters equals five liters. Okay, you're not gonna get any confusing questions on the exam where you make this multiplication and it ends up being where they put five liters, 50 liters, 0.5 liters. You're not gonna see that. What you're gonna see is five liters, 4.6 liters, 3.7 liters, etc. They just wanna make sure that you know the equation, not necessarily that you know how to convert milliliters to liters, okay? So I hope this helps. I hope if you're having trouble with this equation and understanding cardiac output, that this video gave you some information and, and broke it down in a way that you can understand it. Uh, if you're interested, I have many, many more explanations, more videos, more training on my uh, personaltrainingprep.com site. Uh, I offer a course for studying for the ACSM certified personal training exam that is, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of the students who have gone through the exam, a much more simple way to study. I offer a lot of videos. Um, it's very simplified. I take away all of the information that you don't need. I, I package all of the information to a 150 page ebook, audio, videos, and then quizzes to help you along. And you actually get access to a Facebook group where you can talk to other students who are also studying for the exam as well as myself. Okay, so if you're interested in that, I'll have a link right here. You can sign up for a three day free trial. No obligation there. You click on the link. It actually, um, you put in your email, you make a password, you get access to the back end, and you have access to module one. You can check it out. It's not for you, it's not for you. It's perfectly fine, but I wanna offer you this because I've had many, many people come to me, and when they finally discover my videos in this course, they say that it's been a lifesaver. They've spent, it, they've spent months 
um, trying to figure out the information, reading the books, and they felt lost. And then when they got into my course, they felt like it cleared a lot of stuff up. So I hope this isn't you. If you're in that same boat, if you're um, struggling to find information and really pull it all together, um, check it out. I really think I can help you out. So I appreciate your time and I look forward to talking to you soon.